The newest battle on the House floor is an old one, health care. It's back in the spotlight as Congress decides whether or not we have the right to sue our HMO. That's next on Morning Line. Good morning, everyone. I'm Patty Ann Brown. Bush now leads 39 to 27 percent in that key state. Tim Russert is NBC's Washington bureau chief and moderator of Meet the Press, and he joins us now. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. We start this hour with a streak of light across the West Coast sky. It was not a UFO, but instead a test of the United States missile defense system. An unarmed Minuteman test missile was launched from California, headed to the Marshall Islands, where a so-called kill vehicle was sent to destroy destroy it. The test worked. The opening bell has just sounded on Wall Street. For the latest on the market, here's CNBC's Liz Clayman with your Money Minute. Hi, Liz. Good morning, Patty Ann. NBC's Patty Ann Brown is live at the side of the negotiations. Good morning, Patty Ann. Well, good morning, Chris. And I understand there's been some kind of uh, legal action that's been taken? That's correct. A judge has issued a restraining order forbidding these union workers from going on strike. The MTA points out that a strike would have already been illegal, but they say they took this extra step after hearing tough talk from a dissident faction of the union. Millions of Americans are returning home from a long Thanksgiving weekend with friends and family. For a look at what you can expect on the roads and in the air, NBC's Nora O'Donnell joins us from Ronald Reagan National Airport outside Washington, D.C. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Patty Ann. Patty Ann, what's the uh, post office doing to prepare for the crunch? Well, Greg, the post office is expecting Americans to mail 20 billion cards, letters, and packages this holiday season. That would be a 4% increase over last year. And to prepare for that rush, they have hired 40,000 temporary workers throughout the country. Millions of Americans did their holiday shopping online this year. For most, buying the gifts was quick and convenient. But now that Christmas is over, how will the returns work? Here's Patty Ann Brown. Stores may be filled with holiday cheer, but it's not just retailers having a good year. Authorities are seeing a huge jump in credit card skimming. A tragic chapter comes to a close in Worcester, Massachusetts. Searchers complete their mission to recover the bodies of all six firefighters killed in a warehouse fire. The U.S. government warns Americans traveling abroad over the millennium holiday they could be targets for terrorists. And a great day for the Great Dane. College football's all-time leading rusher wins the coveted Heisman Trophy. Good morning, I'm Patty Ann Brown, and this is Morning Blend on MSNBC. Also coming up in this hour, lingering fears about Y2K, including claims that the water supply is in jeopardy.